Welcome to Storytime with Miss Melange. The title of our book today is Riley Can Be Anything. Words by Davina Hamilton. Riley loves Big Cousin Joe. There were so many things Joe wanted to know, like how does honey come from bees, and why must I always say thank you and please? Big Cousin Joe was full of questions, and Big Cousin Joe had lots of suggestions. This time he asked Riley, can you tell me, when you grow up, what are you going to be? I'm not sure yet, Riley sighed. Cousin Joe, can you help me decide? Joe replied, of course I can. Let's give this some thought now, little man. A moment later, Cousin Joe said, you could be a chef like Uncle Ted. Your restaurant could serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you did that, you'll be onto a winner. A chef said Riley, hmm, that sounds good, but do you really think I could? Joe said, your food could be fit for a king. Riley, you can be anything. Riley was pleased, but still unsure. Maybe we could think some more. What else could I be? Riley asked Joe. Hmm, said Joe. Oh, I know. You could play the saxophone like Uncle Baz. He's in a band that plays music called jazz. It's really cool music that's for everyone. It's funky and groovy and lots of fun. I like the saxophone, Riley cried. Are you sure I could play it? I never tried. Of course, said Joe, if you got the swing, Riley, you can be anything. Riley liked the saxophone idea, but still there was more he wanted to hear. He asked Cousin Joe, what else could I be? Joe smiled and said, hmm, let's see. I've got it, said Joe. This is a good plan. You could be a doctor like Uncle Dan. When people are ill, you can make them feel better. Or you can write them a doctor's letter. Make people better, Riley asked. Yes, said Joe, it's a special task. Think of all the joy you can bring. Riley, you can be anything. Riley was happy, but still he pondered. What else could I be? He sat and wondered. Cousin Joe, I'm still not sure. No problem, said Joe. We can think some more. But let me have a sip of my drink. Water always helped me think. Oh, I know, Joe said as he drank. You could be a pilot like great granddad Frank. He flew a plane in the Royal Air Force. That was years ago, of course. He was brave as he flew into the sky, soaring his plane through the clouds up high. Raleigh thought for a while, and he gave a massive smile. A pilot, he said. Now that sounds great. I'm so excited. I can't wait. But up in the clouds, it's very high. What if I'm scared to go up in the sky? Joe smiled and said, stop worrying. Riley, you can be anything. The next day, Riley was at school. He was feeling pretty cool. The things that Cousin Joe had said were still whizzing around in Wiley's head. Then the teacher, Mr. Brew, said, class, here's what we're going to do. I'd like you to think and then tell me, when you grow up, what would you like to be? A teacher said, Lucy, a fireman said, Kyle, I'm going to be the writer, Jen, Jane said with a smile. A vet said, Eddie, a dentist said, Bay. Everyone knew what they wanted to be. How about you, Riley, Mr. Bruce said. I'm not sure yet, said Riley, scratching his head. But just as the school bell started to ring, Riley said, I can be anything. And that is the end of Riley can be anything. My question to you all is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Go ahead and give me a thumbs up so you can be notified of new stories. Thank you for watching. Bye.